Many people wonder about the unknown, whether their imaginations take them to deep space, unsolved mysteries, or other fascinations of the human mind. However, some of the most terrifying creatures live within the depths of the sea. Fortunately for the curious, a number of frightening monsters have been caught on camera, which brings us here today. This is the biggest ragworm I ever seen in my life. That's right, we're going to dive headfirst and navigate the 15 most terrifying monsters found in the deep sea. I hope you're prepared for what you're about to witness. <laughs> Mystery creature, if you're fascinated by aliens or sci-fi flicks, this mysterious three-legged creature will tickle your fancy. After the initial video of the monster hit the internet, curious onlookers likened it to killer beasts from Stranger Things. Yeah, that Netflix show absolutely nobody has heard of. Just kidding. Others joked the creature looked like a Pokemon and should immediately be thrown back into the waters. The grayish-colored creature appeared to have a gaping mouth and gills where its eyes were supposed to be. Does it look like something from Earth? Absolutely not. However, experts at the Ocean Conservation Trust claim the animal is some kind of elasmobrink, a term used to define sharks, rays, and skates. Perhaps one day we'll learn exactly what this frightening creature happens to be. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. In this reconstructed image, we have a terrifying monster with two human-like arms, long gangly fingers with sharp nails, the face of a human, and the body of what looks similar to a dolphin. What is this beastly monster? It looks like something out of an H.B. Lovecraft story. Could this unidentifiable creature be some sort of relative to Chulu? It definitely looks like something you would want to avoid if you ever decide to go deep sea diving. How would you respond if you came across this creature in the sea? Hopefully it's friendlier than it looks. What is it? What's its purpose? Will it ever be captured on film again? We need more information on this monstrosity if those questions are ever going to be answered. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Black Sea Urchin The Water Hedgehog of Doom The Evil Deep Sea Porcupine The All-Seeing Urchin What are we talking about? The Diadema Antelarum, known to us mere mortals as the Black Sea Urchin. The Black Sea Urchin is a sharp specimen that hides in small crevices along the reef. They're invertebrates known for their hard, spiny covering and known for their spine being significantly longer than other urchins. These urchins look as if they're going to shoot spears through your eyes just for looking in its direction. Speaking of eyes, black sea urchins use all of their external spines to see throughout the water, an amazing trick that not so many other creatures on Earth can perform. They live 1 to 10 meters deep in the ocean and survived near extinction in the 1980s, when 90% of the species were wiped out throughout Florida, the Caribbean, and Bermuda. Fortunately, the species continues to recover. For now, we'll leave these urchins alone before they take our soul or something. <laughs> Eel Gobi Now, this is something of nightmares. In 2016, a Malaysian fisherman named Anur Pak Tam caught a long colorless gobi eel that seemingly belongs to the Gobidae family. This terrifying creature looks as if it feeds on human flesh, using ranch as a side dip to spice things up a little. In 2022, a Chinese fisherman caught a group of purple gobi eels, which many are saying resembles the chest buster from alien lore. Well, they would be correct, as the purple gobi eel definitely looks like something from out of this world. The purple demon eel gobies were found in Tao Lake in Yingjing, eastern China's Yangshu province. There's a reason for the existence of such a terrifying creature, but we're unsure of that reason and simply want this beast to stay far away from us and our chests. <laughs> Bearded Fireworm at first glance, the slow-moving bearded fireworm may look harmless and some may even say it's a beautiful looking creature. However, for those of us who have seen far too many sci-fi films, we know that even innocent looking creatures can cause all kinds of damage that we wouldn't even wish on our worst enemies. That might be stretching it a little. The worms can reach up to 35.6 centimeters, but are typically between 7 to 10 centimeters. So, what makes these creatures so terrifying? Well, these predators flare their bristles, which inject anything they touch with a powerful neurotoxin. Not so pretty anymore, are they? The neurotoxin is powerful enough to give humans dizziness and nausea for several hours. 
also leading the need to remove the spines from their wound. What lesson can we learn from the bearded fireworm? Even beautiful things are terrifying in the deep sea. <laughs> Humphead Parrotfish The humphead parrotfish looks like a cross between a parrot and a sea zombie. These bizarre-looking creatures could star in their own sci-fi horror film. These monstrosities of the sea can grow to a length of 1.3 meters and can weigh as much as 100 pounds. The humphead parrotfish is the largest herbivorous fish inhabiting coral reefs and is known for its slow-moving group mentality, just like zombies. See where we're going with this? You may not want to mess around with a group of 100-pound zombie parrots that lurk in the coral reef due to their group nature and slow-moving nature. The species is believed to be over-harvested by spearfishers, but not enough information is available to see the humphead parrotfish as an endangered species. Better not make them angry, or they may start headbutting us all and attempting to make humans endangered. <laughs> Mako Shark a shark that can grow to 13 feet long and weigh as much as 1,260 pounds? Oh, that's not all. The mako shark can also swim up to 80 miles per hour, making it one of the most deadly terrifying predators in the sea. To be more exact, the mako shark belongs to the mackerel family of sharks. The term mako defines the short fin and long fin. The deadly predator we're speaking about here is the short fin mako. Is the short fin mako not scary enough for you? It can also leap approximately 30 feet outside of the water when hunting. Basically, it's not in your best interest to mess with a short fin mako shark as they can and will ruin your day at their leisure. While the short fin mako is one of a few shark species that have bitten and killed humans, such events are extremely rare and are said to have happened due to mistaken identity. Lucky for us humans, the short fin mako hasn't decided to go full Planet of the Apes on us as Earth would absolutely be theirs. Nautilus The chambered nautilus is a living fossil, and the species is believed to have been around for over 500 million years. Yes, before the time of the dinosaurs, while these soft-bellied invertebrates have beautiful shells, like everything in the deepest parts of the sea, there is far more than meets the eye. Here are some important and mad scientist-esque details about nautilus shells. The shell of an adult nautilus contains over 30 chambers which is incredible considering the animals typically aren't larger than 10 inches in diameter. The shells of a nautilus grow as the nautilus ages in what's genetically hardwired shape known as logarithmic spiral. The nautilus lives in the largest and outermost chamber. The remaining chambers are known as ballast tanks that help the nautilus maintain buoyancy. So what do these amazing creatures eat? They're mostly scavengers of dead crustaceans, fish, and anything else floating around, including dead nautiluses. However, they'll hunt living hermit crabs. See, they may be beautiful, but they're still terrifying and not to be trusted. <laughs> Portuguese Man o' War The Portuguese Man o' War looks like a jellyfish with bubbly bluish black tentacles that look straight out of a deep sea sci-fi horror film. As you can see, this is a theme with all of these terrifying beasts. Most look like they're ready to take over a planet and rule without mercy. The Portuguese man of war isn't actually a jellyfish, instead it's a species of siphonophore. What makes a siphonophore horrifying and just a little creepy? A siphonophore is unusual in our Earth's realm, but sounds like an extremely creative mind came up with its structure. They're made up of a colony of specialized, genetically identical parts called zooids. These objects all have various forms and functions, but they all work together as one. A little Mass Effect hive mind type of thing going on. Sort of, but an organism by organism basis instead of an entire population. However, want to know something else horrifying about the Portuguese man of war? They sometimes travel in legions of a thousand or more, and their tentacles can cause stings that are powerful enough to cause the death of humans. Yeah, it's better to just not mess around with these things. <laughs> King Ragworm Talk about an alien invasion from the sea. The king ragworm comes straight from nightmares. Imagine the face of an alien, the body of a worm, and will feed on anything that it manages to capture in a mucus nest that they spin outside its burrows. These creatures grow to about 30 centimeters, but their biology alone should make everyone thankful these are land-dwelling beasts the size of dogs. Check this out. Typically, the king ragworms usually keep their jaws hidden as their mouths are slightly down their body. When it comes to feeding time, they open their mouths and push their jaws out before turning their throat inside out so it becomes a proboscis. 
That's a bit freaky, right? Their jaws make them look like sea ants ready to devour anything that crosses their path. Again, us mere mortals should be thankful these monsters don't hunt humans. We'd be in quite a bit of trouble. <laughs> telescope fish At first glance, the telescope fish looks kind of standard. But when they open their mouths, these deep sea monsters look like absolute demons born of all the world's sins. With their large, nearly ghost-like eyes, the telescope fish immediately gives off an eerie presence that should make anyone a bit uneasy. Those eyes make it possible for telescope fish to hunt 500 to 3,000 meters underneath the surface. However, they do not have lateral vision. The telescope fish are able to use bioluminescence to capture prey and by using outlined silhouettes from the sun by looking upwards to find their next meal. Honestly, how is this not the theme of a deep sea horror franchise? It's not to be messed with. Luckily, they're so far down in the ocean, they rarely come in contact with humans. Also, for that reason, we don't know much regarding the lifespan, diet, or migration patterns of these frightening beasts. Sometimes, a little ignorance might be for the best. We'd hate to see telescope fish accidentally come across some growth hormone and start feeding on humans Speaking of that deep sea horror franchise, <laughs> Snake Sea Cucumber The snake sea cucumber looks almost exactly as it sounds. It definitely gives off sea snake vibes, and no, not the same sea snake from House of the Dragon fame. There are about 1,500 species of sea cucumbers, and they come in a variety of colors and sizes. Specifically, there are approximately 120 species that live primarily in the Indo-Pacific. They can be anywhere from less than an inch to several feet long, with some reaching over 10 feet long. Each species has creepy worm-like tentacles which are used to shovel the microorganisms the animal feeds on into its mouth. At times, the sea cucumbers will travel together in large colonies, often gathering together on a sponge to have a party, discuss their favorite microorganism restaurant, or plot how they plan on taking over the world. While these creatures can look terrifyingly beautiful up close, they actually play an important role with the ocean's ecosystem. Some species of sea cucumbers ingest sediment and remove the necessary food from the sediment before excreting the sediment in long strands. One sea cucumber can excrete 99 pounds of sediment in one year. These excretions keep nutrients cycling in a useful manner. See, monstrous looking creatures can be useful as well. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Antarctic Aliens In February 2021, a mysterious discovery was made by pure accident. While these sponge-like creatures living beneath ice shelves in the Antarctic don't look frightening or terrifying, their existence could however mean there is far much more than we do not know about living in the coldest parts of our world. Dr. Hugh Griffiths of the British Antarctic Survey had this to say about the odd discovery. This discovery is one of these fortunate accidents that push ideas in different directions and show us that Antarctic marine life is incredibly special and amazingly adapted to a frozen world. Dr. Griffiths, who works in the Antarctic, continued his thoughts on the discovery. Our discovery raises so many more questions than it answers, such as how did they get there? What are they eating? How long have they been there? How common are these boulders covered in life? Are these the same species as we see outside the ice shelf or are they a new species? and what would happen to these communities if the ice shelf collapsed. The discovery goes against all previous wisdom, which led scientists to believe there wasn't a way for hard life forms to live beneath the ice shelves. While we still don't know very much regarding these Antarctic aliens, does that mean we may have non-Earth life forms living beneath the ice shelves? They're most likely from this planet, but we don't know yet their significance or purpose. According to Dr. Griffiths, humans have only seen the size of a tennis court beneath the ice shelves meaning there could be a lot more than we're unaware of. Sometimes the unknown can be a bit terrifying, right? Let's leave this one to the scientists before we unlock a portal to an Arctic world full of ice creatures that will give us endless winter. Is winter coming to Earth? <laughs> hagfish This is about to get a little slimy. The hagfish, or the slime eel, is an interesting spineless creature. Like they don't have a spine, they aren't cowards or anything like that, at least as far as we know. Hagfish are considered to be one of the most disgusting animals on Earth. These eel-shaped creatures use four pairs of thin sensory tentacles surrounding their mouths to find food, including carcasses of larger animals. Once they find a bite to eat, they bury into it face first to bore a tunnel deep into its body. Hagfish literally eat the soul of its own food. However, that's not where these animals stop being a bit frightening. Hagfish produce slime, and a lot of it. 
They use this slime made of thin protein fibers as a defense mechanism. Hagfish slime is more durable, flexible, and retentive than slime excreted by other animals. If a hagfish is captured or cornered by a predator, it can release a large amount of slime to help them escape. Just how durable is hagfish slime? Scientists found a 100 million year old hagfish fossil that still has slime preserved. Yeah, the slime is that durable. Hagfish have been around for approximately 500 million years and have been excreting this terrifyingly bizarre slime for that long. Luckily for us humans, hagfish can go months without food, often preferring to suck nutrients in through their skin. Perhaps that's why scientists believe hagfish haven't evolved much in the past 300 million years. Monkfish The monkfish is one of the most frightening and strange-looking monsters found in the sea. There are seven different varieties of monkfish, and they all look as equally terrifying as the others. They grow to be approximately 78 inches in length and can weigh up to 127 pounds. These sea devils also have a unique way to lure in their prey. They have an antenna in the middle of their head, which they use to lure in their latest snack. You want to hear another terrifying fact about these monsters of the deep? Female monkfish lay over one million eggs at once. The wall of eggs can stretch to nearly three and a half feet in width and 33 feet in length. While these fish look terrifying, we humans seem to be a larger threat to them than they are to us. Monkfish are commercially fished and are considered to be quite tasty to those who can stomach eating something that looks as unappetizing as the monkfish. Helmet Jellyfish When you first take a glance at the helmet jellyfish, you would think they might be some kind of alien communication device, alien weapons, or something that wants to suck your brains out through your nostrils. These deep water beasts are indeed from Earth, living anywhere from 900 to 7,000 meters deep. The helmet jellyfish have also developed bioluminescence. However, these creatures cannot survive if exposed to sunlight. Why would it need to if it lives that far underneath the surface? Another terrifying aspect regarding these deep water vampire bloodsuckers is that they apparently don't have brains or eyes and simply use a sensory bulb to detect changes in light. Can you imagine coming across a brainless, eyeless, alien-looking creature that floats around in some ghost-like motion? At least it runs away from the sunlight, so we should all be safe. Well, have you decided to stay far away from the depths of the sea? If you haven't by now, I don't believe there's any hope for you. But remember, there are things out there that are terrifying, and who knows if it'll come after you. Mm -hmm.